Concerning me and peeps, what's up? Well, it's Halloween, and we're also talking about Sunday, NFL Sunday, and there's a zillion things I want to talk about. I'm starting with these Dallas Cowboys. I love the Cowboys. I was born in Texas. You got to know that Dallas is America's team and my number one team. But I have to ask myself a question right now. I had so much hope before the season. It looked great. We were so stacked. I would have said we, we had a great shot to go to the Super Bowl. I mean, everyone from Miles Austin to Des Bryant, Tony Romo, Witten, I mean, uh, uh, Ware, you, you have Ratliff, you have so, I mean, the, the three-headed monster, right? we have so much talent. And now it's in total, total free fall and destruction. I mean, the Dallas Cowboys just lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars. I mean, David Gerrard had almost a perfect passing day against our defense. How does that happen? And I have to ask myself this question. Are they just, do they just like, forget about it now? Or do, or do they not care anymore? Where's the heart on the Dallas Cowboys? Where is the heart on the Dallas Cowboys? How bad are they? And who's responsible for it? I mean, this looks so, how, I mean, I don't understand what's next. I really don't. Why don't you just give up all those Lombardi trophies on the, on, on the rack over there and, 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 and over there in, in uh, Dallas Cowboys Stadium, stuff like that. Jerry Jones, you need to fire some people right now, bro. I I love you, baby. You're great. You were on Entourage. You did the whole thing. You're an ambassador of the NFL Network. The whole situation. As an owner, you're tremendous. But you need to start firing people right now. One in seven, or whatever the Cowboys are, because they keep losing. It, it, it may be one in 12 by the time I'm done with this video. Doesn't cut it for that much talent. Are you kidding me? What if the Yankees did that? What I mean, I, I don't. I mean, what if the Lakers were like that? Do you understand that Steinbrenner and Jerry Buss, I mean the late George Steinbrenner, rest in peace, would never stand for this? Do you understand that? I think you have to start. Unfortunately, I like Wade. He's cool. He's great on the defensive coordinator, but dude, this head coach thing, it's not working out. There's a reason why the Chargers said bye bye to him. Not to say that they've done any better. Without him, but uh, you know, at least Norvell can freaking win, you know, some 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 uh, serious championship games. I don't know. I don't care about the Chargers. I care about the Dallas Cowboys. They're not winning. Jason Garrett, I think, is terrible. Terrible. I know the offense is ranked up there, and he doesn't. But, but he does predictable stuff. Passes too much. He's a former quarterback. Doesn't run enough. You can't have a three-headed monster and not run enough. All I know is the. This is what I know. The bottom line is that championships aren't won. The bottom line is the product doesn't come together. Tony Romo, it's a, it's a love-hate situation here with Tony Romo. On the one hand, Tony Romo, but when he's gone, he shows you how much we need him. He is a maestro back there. He is powerful. He has all kinds of different weapons, extends plays, does this and that, whatever. At the same time, he's almost like a little kid. He's always doing some stupid stuff. He's got antics off the field, whatever like that. And look, it's a free country. You can do whatever you want. If I was you'd be the Dallas Cowboys, I'd be having some, some fun stuff like, like that too. We haven't seen him at the girlfriends. But it's, it's almost like when he plays, it's a scrimmage game where he's having fun in the backyard football or he's a frat boy or something like that. I just don't see the same championship mentality as I would see in an Elway. In, in, in definitely not a, a, a Brett Favre or a Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger does all kinds of idiotic things. I'm from Pittsburgh. I spent time there too, so I understand the kind of guy that Ben Rothberg is. But dang it, Big Ben wins. Big Ben can be almost in the hospital because he's done all this motorcycle stuff, whatever like that. You put him in, he wins. Big Ben can be suspended. You put him back in, he wins. The guy is a champion, dude. It's different. You know, the Tom Brady stuff like that. Tom Brady looks ridiculous with his hair, and we're going to talk about that. But he wins. I don't get it. And the NFL is about winning. And it's America's game, and it's America's team. You need to win. So I'm sending a message to you, Jerry Jones. I love you, bro, but you got to do something and step it up. I'm not seeing the people like a Dion, like a a, a, um, a T.O., um, like an Aikman, like uh, uh, Michael Irvin, the playmaker. These kind of people, uh, Emmett Smith, that can, a Starbuck, that can get in there and win and lead this thing. I want to see character on this team. There we so much talent from D. Ware, all the rest of them. I want to see some wins right here. Is that too much to ask? Is it, is it really too much? It isn't too much to ask. You need to make moves right now. Because, hey, you might as well say the season's done now. You know, as far as if I were Jerry Jones, I would consider this season's done. It's it's over. So you need to fire everyone immediately. Make the change right now. Act like you're You have an extended off season right now, beginning right now to make some changes. You need to make some changes right now. And I want to see them right here. I'm a fan. I'm an analyst. The whole situation. I know sports. 
I used to be a world-class athlete myself. I know I've trained a bunch of these NFL guys, okay? Check out my resume. You know what's up. Go to johndvillarreal.com. You know what's up. World-class athlete, bro. I understand the mentality. Jerry, you're a businessman. Do it. You know I'm also a lawyer. You know I've done the Silicon Valley deals. This is, I don't care, from any perspective, fan, analyst, media, world-class athlete, uh, elite business dude, whatever like that, I know what I'm talking about. Make the move, Jerry Jones. I want to know, what do you fans think out here? How bad is it? Ah, we're going to get all the Dallas haters. You can hit him and get all this stuff. Fine. You can have your say. Comments below. Subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal. The question is, how bad are the Cowboys and whose fault is it? I want to hear from you right now. Speak on it. We want to see these Dallas Cowboys better. Jerry, you better hear me, bro. Make the moves. We'll see you next time. You're watching Conservative New Media. I'm John D. Villarreal. We'll see you next time.